Hey guys, welcome back to Burns and Mac Club. Today's topic is tax. So, let's say that I was planning to buy a laptop. I checked the prices online for one of the stores and the laptop I liked, it was $500. So my dad dropped me off and he gave me $500 so I can get the laptop. Okay, so when I was checking out, the guy asked me to pay $535. Now I was surprised and I asked him, why is that? Now he told he told me that um the five hundred dollars was the original amount of the laptop and then there was sale taxes that were seven percent. So now what I need to do is I need to find seven percent tax on five hundred dollars to make sure that I really do have to pay thirty five dollars. Okay. So seven percent tax on five hundred dollars now in order to um do this problem first we have to convert the percent which is seven percent into a fraction okay now we know that a per a percent is always a number out of a hundred right so 100 can be our denominator and seven can be our numerator so seven over a hundred is the fraction for seven percent so seven percent converted to a fraction is seven over a hundred now, we have to multiply this by 500, the total amount. Okay, but before we do anything, we can always make this easier for us by cutting out the two zeros with these two zeros. Okay, that leaves us with the problem 7 over 1 times 5. Okay, so 7 times 5 is 35 over 1 or $35. And that is... So, 7% tax on $500 is $35, right? Now, let's add this with the original amount. So, $500 plus $35 gives us $535. And that is the amount that the guy asked me to pay, right? So, he's right. I do have to pay $535 um, to, in order to get my laptop because I have 7% tax. Okay. Now let's do another example. So now let's say that you're purchasing furniture, okay? And your total worth of furniture is $1,200. Now, the state taxes are 8%. So how much total money will you have to pay in order to get your furniture? Okay, so it's going to be 8% tax on, I'm sorry, 8% tax on $1,200, okay? Now remember, first you have to convert the percent into a fraction. Again, a percent is a number out of 100. So, 8% is going to be 8 out of 100. Now we need to multiply this by the total amount, which is $1,200, okay? So, before we do this, we can always cut out these zeros so to make it easier for us to multiply. So now our new problem is 8 over 1 times $12, okay? That gives us $96 over 1 or $96. And that is $96 is the 8% tax on um, $1,200. But in total, if you add the, the $1,200 plus the amount of tax which is $96 we get $1,296 that is the total amount of money that I will have to pay in order to get my furniture okay so this is the total amount of money with my state tax okay now let's do another example now let's say that John he started a job and his monthly salary is $4,000 now, his state and federal taxes, the ones he has to pay with his salary, are 25%. Now, how much money will he have to pay as taxes? So, our problem here is 25% taxes tax on $4,000. Okay? So, remember, in order to solve this, first we need to change the percent into a fraction so 25 percent into a fraction is 25 over 100 because again a percent is a number over 100 right so 25 over 100 
Now we need to multiply this by the total amount, which is 4,000. But before we do anything, we can always cut out the zeros to make it easier for us. I always do this because it's, it makes it easier for me to um, multiply. It's simple. So 25 over 1 times 40. Okay? We know that 25 times 40 is 1,000 over 1 or $1,000. So this is $1,000. Okay, so 25% tax on um, $4,000, right? So now we need to subtract the $4,000, okay, with the $1,000 because we need to take out the $1,000 from $4,000 because that's how much ta tax there is. That's 25% of the tax, right? So 4000 minus 1000 is three thousand dollars so in total he um his salary is going to be three thousand dollars after he's paid 25 percent federal or state tax okay so that's that for this topic um check out more videos at bronsonmaclove.com and we'll see you guys next time bye